All right, so welcome back. It's been a very long pause, and today we're taking a very interesting look. So um, I bought these linear um, guides. They're Highwin HGH15 CA, so it's standard accuracy and no preload. And what happened is um, somebody, I'm not going to name any names, uh, dropped it with the uh, with the sliding piece. The 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 bearing retainer was slightly um, out, and basically what it did. My cat's going crazy. Is that some of the balls popped out, and I never, I never found them. So um, the next step is to, um, and I was looking on the internet, and there, at least I can find any information on what kind of uh, like bearing ball sizes it uses, and or even how to replace them. So um, today. We are going down the rabbit hole. We're going to, we're going to open the, the uh, bearing block up and uh, we're going to see uh, how it operates, what is the bearing ball size, and then we'll go on from there. All right, I'll bring, I'll bring you back in a minute. Thank you. All right, so I have a uh, micrometer ready. It's made in 1964, but still very accurate, or at least accurate for what we're using. I have some um, pinchers. Actually, what do they call them in English? Pliers? No, pliers are bigger. Uh, anyway, somebody let me know. And um, a good quality. Um, pH1, sorry, uh, P yeah, pH1 for the for the screws, for the wipers, and also a hex hex key for the um, Euler knob. Hopefully this one fits. No, it does not. All right, we'll be back in, again in a minute. Right, so I found the hex key as well. It's a 2.5 millimeter. And that is for the wipers. So, um, first of all, to make our lives a little bit easier, I have a small box. So I'm going to put the bearings in here. And first things, just slide the retainer out. Right. And actually, right now it looks pretty good. But what happened was when I put it on the on the rail, because they on one side some of the balls are missing. What it actually caused it to do was to. Uh, can you see? I think you can see it from as, as such. Actually, that's not too bad. Seem to be moving pretty well. Ah, I see what what's wrong. Okay, this is going to be pretty difficult to. Uh, so basically, the um, I'm assuming you can see this. Let me check the camera. Right, so you can see that the bearings on the upper one are looking pretty good. Okay, and even you know I can I can even move them. And it seems that there's one ball maybe missing. Okay, so I can move the, all the balls, right? So they move. But when I looked at the upper one, find you an angle here where you can see. Yeah. So you can actually see that there's a whole lot missing. Like, like this, probably like eight, nine balls. Can you see this? Yeah, can't from here. Okay, so looking on the other side, holy, f okay, even worse, it has the balls on the bottom, so th these look pretty good, but when you look at the upper one, can you see it from here? Yeah, there are no balls on the upper, upper race. So, it seems that we have to find a lot of replacements, all right? 
So, so in conclusion, it has two rows of balls on either side, so four rows total, two on the bottom and two on the top, or depending on which way you look, this is the top and this is the bottom. But um, on, the, on this side, we have a few balls missing on the uh, upper side. And, sorry, on this side we have a, f a few balls missing, but on this side we don't have any balls, okay? This, this, this video is going to be full of jokes. So, can we actually get them out this way? Not really. Okay, so we have to take the wipers off and all the other stuff as well. Okay, so first of all, let's take the... Uh, did I push record? Yeah, it's recording. So, um, this is the oiling nut, sorry, the oil hole. Okay, take them off on both sides. Okay, put them aside here. Now we're, we're gonna take away the wiper, okay, and if my theory is correct, once we remove the wipers on one side, we can then pull out the entire structure. Okay, so that yeah, actually looks pretty nice. Seems like br brass or bronze, maybe. Okay, so this this is um this is an over molded part here, so it's uh, like soft rubber, so it it rubs on the on the rail, so it pushes all the dirt and stuff away. But inside, it's over molded on on a piece of brass. It seems it doesn't look like steel or. Yeah, it seems to be brass or something. Okay, so part one. Okay, and the, the the red piece is the lower wiper, and the whole rubber piece, the black one next to it, is also a wiper, right? So the green piece is basically the uh, return for the balls. So once we take the green piece off, then all the balls should uh, fall out, All right? So next step Okay Thank for the thankfully they are using the same sized um, Screws it's gonna be a bit easier to uh, assemble it Okay, so moment of truth. Yeah, it's oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna gather them all in the in the, in the small jar here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Very interesting. So, they have actually used cheaper plastic on the outside. And... Do they have any markings? Because I can, I can guarantee you that the inside is going to be... Uh, uh, is going to be nylon and the outside is probably something cheaper. So they pressed the... Uh, the, the ball return cage into the green piece. The ball return cage is the, the white piece. Because it's, it's, it's technically impossible to do it in, in, in one... Um, to make it in one operation because it has a curved inside and there's no way to relieve that. So, and when, so they have to make it in two parts and press it in. But I actually very much liked the way that these pieces they actually go over the size and hook up, hook on it, hook on it like this, 
right? And it actually stretches the black piece just a little bit. Okay. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Man, there are a lot of balls in here. All right. Okay, and it seems in here yeah they 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 ground all the raceways to make them nice and uh, and uh, nice and smooth all right so we have to take the other other side off as well to get all the balls out but I'm gonna already start putting the back in Now, the really boring job is later, I'm going to leave one out and measure it, but later I have to then count how many do, do I actually need, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to order more than what I need, because I know that at least one other of my bearing blocks was dropped, again not naming any names, and it's missing one ball, so I can, I can definitely use them there. Hopefully my cat doesn't come, and uh, because he likes the the crackling noises, and he won't arrive and basically just put it on its side, put the, the the yellow box on its side, and spread the bearings out all over the floor. And I have wooden floors, which usually means that they're going to be in the cracks, and that means no bueno. All right, so carefully now, let's take this side off as well. Okay, so we have another plate. Okay, and we can take the green piece off. Oh yeah, they actually use slightly longer uh, screws on the inside. Sorry, they use slightly uh, longer screws on the outside and just very slightly shorter ones on the inside, so I have to keep that in mind. Okay. So, again. And actually, do you know what I really like? The, the oil hole is in the middle here, right? And basically, when you look on the other side, or greases hole, I guess, and it has um, these small channels that basically run to both the upper and the lower on either side. So when you grease it, you don't have to put like any grease on the rails or anything like that because it, the wiper is just gonna wipe it off and none of it is gonna end up on the uh, on the, 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 the bearings. But when you put it inside, in between the bearing balls, it actually really, really helps it survive. All right. So the wipers here, seems like the red piece is just clipped. It's, it's like, it's the same kind of hard rubber as on here. It's just clipped onto the, 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 the wiper. All right, let's set it aside. Okay, this is the upper, sorry, the upper or lower retainer, depending on which way you're looking. That's not really interesting for us. And now, 
we only have these pieces, which again are the, uh, how do I call them? Not the separators, but the, uh, the. Okay, so, um, it's definitely not three millimeters and it's not three and a half millimeters because um, currently at three millimeters and the bearing doesn't go in and at three and a half it was falling through. So um, what was the uh, 3.125 I think it was. So three So, does it fit here? Is it, is it a quarter inch? Sorry, a sixteenth? Nope, doesn't fit either. So that's three and a half. And it does fit in, okay. Bearings are very easy to, to shit. Very easy to measure. Okay, 3.15 millimeters it should be. So 3.1, uh, 3.16 millimeters. Okay, 3.16 millimeters. Why is it in that dimension? Let's check another one. 3.16 Okay <clears throat> So they seem to be fairly accurate Although that's really what you'd expect This is slightly under 316 3.16 millimeters Okay, and last one. 3.16 on the dot, okay. So, um, the size of the bearing is 3.16 millimeters. This is gonna be very easy to find, I'm, I'm guessing. And right now, um, Verify is it three one one six? Oh, they have a two point five. Okay. What the rest of us is? Is this four millimeters? Uh, five under. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. The bearing size is 3.16 millimeters, which makes it nice and impossible to find. But um, I'm gonna try to do that anyway. So I'm gonna package everything up and uh, we'll probably return when I have found a place where I can get the bearings. All right, thanks for watching. Hope, hope it was interesting for you. All right, see ya.